Breaking news, my wonderful people, it's happening. As the Naira crisis persists, some states have planned contempt proceedings against Malami and Emefili, my country people. There is a saying that you cannot eat your cake and have it. Nigerians are angry and now they have decided to initiate contempt proceedings against Abubakar Malami and Godwin Emefili over their refusal to heed to the judgment of the Supreme Court. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Some state governments are planning to initiate contempt proceedings against the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami San, and also the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefile over their refusal to implement the Supreme Court's judgment on the Naira redesign policy of the federal government. It was gathered on Friday that the federal government was served with the enrolled order and certified true copy of last week's Supreme Court judgment, which also ordered that the old 1,500 and 200 Naira should be in circulation alongside the new notes till December 31st, 2023. Now, Sunday, um, pardon, Saturday punch gathered that the non-service of the enrolled order and the CTC of the judgment was responsible for the failure of the federal government to direct a mefile to roll out the old notes already redrawn from circulation. With the silence of the president, Major General Mohamed Buhari, on the judgment of the Apex Court, has fueled the rejection of the remaining old 1,500 as legal tender. On Monday, some banks commenced paying customers the old notes in partial compliance with the Supreme Court's judgment. But by Wednesday, the bank stopped disbursing the old notes as the CBN insisted that it had not given any directives to that effect. Now, Saturday Punch learned that the enrolled order and the CTC of the judgment were served on the AGF on Friday afternoon. The counsel for Kaduna Kogi Zamfarawa State which dragged the federal government before the Supreme Court on the matter, Mustafa San had told one of the correspondents in a telephone interview that Malami was served with an enrolled order and the CTC of the judgment on Friday, adding that he expected immediate compliance with the judgment as the non-service of the document had given the government and the CBN an escape route. Now, this is really happening, my country people. So it is so certain. In fact, it is clear to us that um, the federal government, Buhari, they are not ready to heed to the judgment of the Supreme Court. And it is so bad to the extent that some states have, you know, planned contempt proceedings against Malami and uh, Godwin Emefile. I don't know what is really going on in this country. It is so clear that Nigeria is a lawless country and the government does not comply or obey the, the, the judgment of the Supreme Court. That is why they have, you know, called for the, uh, they have planned for contempt proceedings against Malami and Godwin Imifili. Mustafa said the Attorney General of the Federation has been served now and we will take it from here. But if there is no compliance now, we will commence proceedings against the Attorney General and the CBN Governor. When the Supreme Court talks, the Constitution makes it compulsory for all government representatives and everybody to comply with each other. You have to obey. It is the last and the final. And that is why we have separation of power. The separation, the pardon, the presence of the separation of power is for checks and balances. When the Supreme Court talks, it must be complied with by all persons. That is why 
we are waiting for the enrolled order of the court. We are yet to proceed it. As soon as we have it, we will take the next step. When the Supreme Court talks, all organs of government comply. And if they don't comply, the rules are clear. We are going to activate the necessary legal steps within the ambit of the law. But we need to get the enrolled order and serve the defendants. That's where we are now. Any time from now, we'll be able to get the enrolled order and the certified true copy of the judgment. Then we will take it from there. But I assure you, our clients are monitoring the situation and we will take the appropriate steps at the right time. Guys, this is really happening, my country people. I don't know when all this is going to end though. We all, uh, we can recall that earlier before the the elections, uh, the governors, uh, some governors, some northern governors, uh, like the likes of uh, Erufai of Kaduna State, uh, Yaya Belo of Kogi, and also the governor of Zamfarawa State, had you know um, condemned the silence of President Mohamed Buhari and Emifili on the judgment of the Supreme Court when they gave a temporary judgment at that time, and they have strongly dragged. Uh, Emefili stating that uh, he does not want to obey, you know, the temporary judgment of the Supreme Court. Now, the before the elections, the Supreme Court have, you know, adjoined the case to 3rd of March. And that was uh, last week, Friday, where the Supreme Court gave its final judgment stating that the old 1,500 notes should come back into circulation alongside the, the the new Naira note and it will remain in circulation till uh, December 31st. That is the order of the Supreme Court. But then the CBN have refused to listen to that order. They have refused to obey the order of the Supreme Court. That is why now some state governments are planning to initiate contempt proceedings against the Attorney General of the Federation and also the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefile. I no can't know what they go on for this country, oh, my wonderful people. However, Nigerians have reacted to this. I believe that the sufferings and the pains President Mohamed Buhari inflicted on Nigerians by his anti-people policy is far more than the suffering and the pains of uh, the, the Boko Haram and the terrorists that have been inflicted on Nigerians. We are praying that uh, much that May 29th should come so fast so that Buari can go and let Nigerians breathe fresh air of freedom from a very wicked, bad government of President Mohamed Buari. The state governors are trying to protect the future crisis that might, that might occur if this cash and naira crunch continues and people will no longer bear the paint. Buhari should just, should, Keep mute about the, 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 the court judgment, but God will judge them. The days of his worst administration is already numbered. Let's leave them for the almighty God to judge. Emefele will end up in jail. His days are numbered. Mark my words. He will be sacked and hand over to DSS and he will regret his actions. The NLC should be involved in this and they should speak for the masses. This is becoming too much. Guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So my country people, what are your thoughts concerning this issue? Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section down below. Thank you. Bye for now.